You might need your towel or a block underneath your knees to make this comfortable. And bring your hands above your head and you're looking for a line from your fingers through your shoulder to your hip to your knee. What does that mean? Well, if your hands are forward, you haven't got that line. And some people are so flexible their hands go behind. You want a straight line. Good. And from here, tip. One side, waist work, centre. Other side, waist work, centre. Now push back into the pose of a child, i.e. bum to heels, hands go forward. And do that again. So tighten your tummy, lift your arms directly above you, feet on the floor so your feet are comfortable. Tip one side, centre. Tip the other side, centre. Now push your bottom back. And bring your arms forward, ooh, and let that release through. So it's a lot of energy lifting your arms up off the floor. It takes a lot of back strength. Brace your core as you tip one side, nicely done. Tip the other side. And then push your bottom back and reach your arms forward and push your bottom back. Two more of those. So think of the energy and the bracing that you need to do to lift your arms. Tipping and breathing side to side. Good work. And then jettisoning those arms forward as your bum pushes back and give me the length. One more time, push on up. Arms up, well done everyone. Good work, good alignment in particular. Stretch from one side, good, over to the other side. And then push your bottom back arms forward and there, where is you, there is where you rest. Whilst you rest, look at the level I'm going to do next. So I'm going to bring my hands all the way to the floor on one side. I'm going to sweep my hands to the other side and then lift up above my head. Join me, arms above your head. Take yourself to one side, bring the fingers down onto the floor sweep forward so you're hovering off the floor over to the other side and then lift your arms above your head that's a big lift go the same way down onto the floor sweep forward so the hands are just off the floor and lift above your head breathe in go the same way fingers drop to the floor sweep the hands forward i can feel that in my back I can feel all the movement in my whole spine. Let's make it a little more fluid. Run forward, lift up, inhale. Good, drop down, run forward and lift up. Two more, your own pace. Drop, sweep forward and lift up. Lovely, can you feel that? Mobilising hips and back, shoulders and arms. And last one in the other direction. Sweep forward and arms up. So we'll rest in the pose of a child. So come towards the front, push your bottom back and rest there. A mobility move for the shoulders, put your palms onto your lower back. Will that work? Oh, actually, start here. Start with your hands by your side. You might want your towel underneath your forehead to support this. Next level, put your hands onto your lower back. So now you've got a bigger opening for the shoulders. Next level, your palms clasp, press together and see if you can lift your arms doesn't have to be high. And then move the arm side to side. Bring the hands to the lower back and let them settle on the floor. Bring the hands to the back, link the fingers, lift the arms a little and just move the hands side to side. Think of the exploratory move. Hands on the back, and settle into the floor, let go. Oh. One last time, and you can just stay where you are, or go through the sequencing, hands together, hands move side to side, good shoulder opening, 
hands on your back and then really drop into the floor. Good work. I'm going to come back up onto my glutes. Roll your shoulders so you've got freedom in your shoulders again. We're going, that was a mobility move. I know, it was tough. <laughs> now we're going into a strength move. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Spread your hands. And I've been talking a lot this week about broadening your shoulders, not rounding. Hmm. So broadening, to me, is shoulder blades flat to spine and chest high. Rounding is curvature, is moving the shoulders up into the sky. So broadening is flat and strong and powerful. Push your bottom back and breathe out. Inhale and broaden those shoulders. So you've got energy in your arms, in your shoulders, in your tummy muscles to support your back. And you're looking at your alignment and your alignment is the same as normal, ear, shoulder, hip. So if your head starts to drop, you've lost your alignment. If your eye gaze is at the front of your mat, you're doing well. Your technique is spot on. Let's make this power move work. Curl your toes. Lift your knees two centimetres off the floor. Feel the quads. Drop knees. Relax the feet. Bum goes back. Hands and knees. Curl the toes. Lift the knees. Put the knees down. Relax the toes. Push your bum back. Inhale, climb up, curl the toes, lift the knees and breathe out. So you're broadening and strengthening the shoulder girdle. You feel it in your arms and shoulders. You're doing the same power move for the legs. So the hips are stabilizing and the quads are working hard. Here's your next level, the toes curl, the knees lift two centimeters, one leg lifts, doesn't matter how high, and then it lands. And the other leg lifts, again, doesn't matter how high. Bring the knees to the floor, push your bottom back. Climb up onto your hands and knees, level one. Curl the toes, lift the knees, level two. Lift one leg, level three. You can really feel the work in the arms and upper body now. Drop the knees, push the bottom back to the heels. Inhale, climb up, choose your level. Is it a knee lift or are your knees going to stay on the floor? What's happened to your eye gaze? Is it still at the top of your mat? Two more power moves, two more. Curl the toes, lift the knees. Choose if you're going to lift and lower one and then the other leg and push back. And one last power move, onto your hands and knees. Curl the toes, lift the knees, lift and lower, lift and release. Push back and do all those lovely things that help you to recover. Start with a rotation in the wrist. Begin to take the knees wide, take the arms forward. And if it works for you, I know this is going to be highly personal, Bring the hands to your side, palms up, and let your cheek rest on the floor. Or put your hands on your lower back and link your fingers and lift the arms. Taking your hands ooh, side to side. Bring the hands down into a posture that works for you. We're going to do a little bit of back work. So for the back work, we're going to lie on our tummy, your towel underneath your forehead, and bring your hands by your sides to begin with. Roll your shoulders away from your ears, press your tummy in and lower. So your head needs to be resting on your towel. I can't do it because I'm projecting my voice but you need to rest your upper body. All you're doing is gripping your tummy muscles 
and that's your level one. Level two, hands above your head, so on the back of your head, so the middle finger is touching and lift the elbows, lower, lift and lower. So your head is on the floor, you're lifting the elbows and lowering. And at the same time, you're bracing your tummy. Keep going, lift and lower. Okay, lift the elbows, lift the chest, fingertips on the back of your head and lower. Lift the elbows, lift the chest and lower. You're not looking for height, you're looking for consistency. So five of these, elbows, chest and lower. Elbows, chest. The next five with feet. Elbows, chest and legs and lower. Elbows, chest and legs and lower. Elbows, chest and legs and lower. Last one. Elbows, chest and legs. Come into a gentle recovery. Lying on the floor, let the breath go. When you're ready, move into the pose of the child. Push your bottom back, arms forward. Lie on your back. Bring your knees into your body and place your hands on your knees, your towel underneath your head. Good, and massage your back, especially after that back work that you've just done. And round the other way. Bring your hands and feet to the floor. And I'd like you to, in your opinion, just assess what's going on in your pelvis. Pull a deep abdominal in so the lower back isn't arching. And allow one knee to come towards the floor and climb up and the other knee. So the hip and the pelvic area, it's got all sorts of, I'm going to say, connections, issues. <laughs> it might be that your hips are a little tight. It could be that your pelvis isn't completely comfortable. I know when I've had abdominal surgery with um, childbirth, doing this kind of move just was too sensitive. So bear in mind, what's going on for you, and be cautious. So your option now is to allow both knees to open and the soles of your feet together, or place both feet on the floor. What works for you? Taking the knees out is gonna put a lot of work on the deep abdominal, it's gonna pull it. So you're gonna draw in to secure your lower back, and we're going to work the ribs down, take the hands behind your head, elbows on the cold floor. So that's your, that's your awareness level with the elbows. Brace the tummy and raise the head and shoulders. Now you feel the difference. So feet on the floor and knees apart is your option and lower. Lift and lower aiming to get those elbows as far out as you can. Breathing. So we're going to do another five of these. This is really knitting the deep abdominal and the six pack together. Lift, working together, as Joseph Pilates used to say, as an orchestra. Good. Let's reach a little bit further. So raise the head and reach the arms forward. Bring the hands behind the head and lower the head. Raise the head, reach the arms forward. Bring the hands behind the head and lower. Breathe out. And lower. Stay with me. I'm aiming for 10. I've done five. I'm going to do another five with you. You've got options, take the options that you need. Good work, thanks for staying with me. Lift and reach, hands behind your head and lower, cold surface of the floor and lift 
and then feel the floor. And your final level, you're gonna love this. Brace your tummy, pull your belly button to spine. I'm lifting my heels in preparation. Raise the upper body, raise the legs, and reach through. Bring the feet down, hands behind your head. Clasp, pull, draw the tummy muscles in as you reach, and then hold it, hold it, hold it in your tummy. So I'm really gripping with my tummy muscle to lift and to control the descent. This is a level three. This takes a lot of body and knowledge and a strong abdominal muscle because otherwise we're just using our back. Five to finish, lift. You should be getting that six pack feel as well. The burn in your six pack the muscle that closest to the skin that runs up and down the front of the tummy. Lift and reach, hands behind and lower. We've got two more, lift and reach. And the final bonus, keep the feet off the floor and give me 10 pulses. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one. <sighs> what do you need the most? <laughs> I'm going to go for a knee side to side because that will help to release the tummy muscles. What do you need? Hands above your head will increase the opening across your chest as well. So when the muscle has relaxed, maybe you could go for a full body stretch, hold the wrist, push the heel away, run down the whole of the front of the body and drop, and the other side and drop. Bend your knees, bring the knees into your chest, hands on knees and go back to that therapeutic lower back massage and circle. Let the breath fully go huh. and round the other way. Both hands on your shin, other leg to the sky, point the toes, the feet could do with a little bit of a stretch and lower the leg almost to the floor. Bring the leg in, both hands on that shin, take the leg to the sky, lovely beautiful feet, thank you, and lower. So go into your body, imagine you've got that x-ray vision again, feel the stretch in your foot. And the foot, because it's so used to being flexed all day, in shoes, walking, stretching your toes, can feel a little bit extreme for your feet. So take your time, get used to it, and then run up your leg. Run up, feel the stretch in the front of the knee, the quad, and for me, the hip. The front of the hip flexor, they often call it the settee muscle. <laughs> the hip flexor gets so tight because we sit in chairs. So open up the settee muscle and lower the leg. That's what this is about, the one leg stretch. Bring your hands from your shin to behind your head, elbows on the cold floor as your reference and then keep the leg moving. You need to grip your tummy, pull your belly button into spine, you know that. Yes. So if you do that, your back will not lift and you will stay strong in your abdominal muscles. So you're holding it in front of your body, not the back of your body. And that's the level two. Add in the head lift. And then we start working a different muscle group, the rectus abdominis, head lowers, the six pack, raise the leg. As you lower the leg, raise the head and recover. Finding that cold floor with your elbows. Three more like this. Stay with me. Head lowers. So let the breath out. Take you all the way down. Let the breath out take you all the way down. Good. 
and the final level. Yes, there's more. Raise the head and opposite shoulder to knee. Pause in the middle. Other leg lowers shoulder to knee. Love it. Love the adaptations. Brilliant, Glennis. Lift, lower the leg, come across, and then rest in the middle or hover in the middle. Your choice. Over you go. So I'm beginning to see legs getting a little bit bent, <laughs> a little bit exhausting. Give me some last leg stretching or effort opening up. This is so good for your body. Think about the toxins that you're getting rid of in the joints, adding into the circulatory system. Use your breath and give me one last one, both sides with a full stretch all the way out. Go on, breathe. Fabulous. Other side. Well done. What's the best stretch for you? Oh, so giving yourself that moment's thinking time to notice where you could stretch from and where you're holding your tension. So personally, I love my hands above my head. The back of the hands on the floor is a good chest opener. And it helps me to hold the upper body still so that I can really get into the hips. Good work. Last exercise. Yeah, you've done it. Hands behind your waist. So not your bum, your waist. So it's the top of your leggings. You're going to let your hands be squashed under what's called your lower spine and bring your knees into your chest. Now your hands are really squashed. You've lost the blood flow in your fingers. Your legs go to the sky and you've lost the blood flow. So you're not underneath your bum, you're underneath your waist. You grip with your tummy muscles and both legs lower. And as soon as your hands start to find blood flow, Bring your knees in. <laughs> so lift the legs, lower the legs. As soon as your back starts to lift off your fingers, bring the knees in. I know it's a bit squashy for your hands. So let's take the hands out and use them. So hands to knees, legs and arms go long, but don't go too low. Sweep onto your shins, breathe out. Arms and legs long, sweep onto your shins and remove all the stale air. The double leg stretch without the arch in the back. Good. Calm, fluid, flowing and centralised, centred on your core. Raise your head and bring your hands towards your heels. Lower the head, arms and legs go long. Press hands to heels and lower the head. Do you remember the options? Option one is just the legs. Option two, head and arm, arms and legs. And this is your final option, raising your head. Give me five more. <sighs> breathe out as the knees squeeze in. Breathe in, breathe out. Three more, long and strong, tuck in tight, two more, and on this last one, we'll hold that tuck and pulse, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, recover, is it? A full body stretch. Push the heel away, hold the wrist, yawn through the entire body. <sighs> Let it go. And the other side. <clears throat> Letting the body unwind, uncurl, de stress. Brilliant. Moving the knees side to side. You've done some phenomenal abdominal work today. You've hit all three abdominal targets. You've focused on the deep abdominal, the corset muscle, 
you've done a lot of oblique work, waist work, and you've worked on that muscle front of your tummy, the six pack or the rectus abdominis. And you supported all of that with your back. So, excellent job. Knees to chest, rock up or turn onto your side and sit up. And the reason we do these rocks and pilates is again because it releases tension in your spine. <gasps> Thank you so much for joining me today. Love, love working with you. <laughs> Fantastic!